Hi everybody! So do you remember this painting? This is the last one I posted. It was a new technique, Cover Your Poor by Heartfelt Artistry. And she covered her pore completely with white, so that's what I did. It's a really cool effect, and if you didn't see that collaboration, you should go check it out. We use a new pouring medium, Mod Podge. So it's Floetrol, Mod Podge, and GAC 800. And for this technique to work well, you do need to, the paints need to be kind of a thick consistency. So that's like a mound on a mound right there. So fairly thick. And then these are the colors that I used for this one. The Satin Enamel White, the Deco Art 24 Karat Gold, uh, the Topaz, by Folk Art, Purple Topaz, love that paint right there. Um, ultramarine Blue, the Thalo Blue, the Pale Mauve, and the Violet by My Artscape, and Ultramarine Violet by Golden Fluids, Iridescent Pearl, the Teal by Golden Fluids, this pink, and then I think I added um, a Quinacridone Magenta to this one as well. Now, I featured my Artscape paints because uh, they sent me these to try out, and I have to tell you, I love them. They are so thick and luxurious and rich, and they dried really pretty and highly pigmented. Um, now, this set is available in my Amazon shop along with other smaller sets. So. Don't feel like you have to buy the big one to try them out. They come in small little tubes too. And um, that way you could spend a little less money and see if you like them before you invest in the bigger quantity. Um, now, the way I'm layering my cup here basically is dark to light. All the dark purples and blues, and then a white, gold, the quinacridone magenta and pink and then just a little bit of white on the top of that. And this is a 16 by 20 canvas, and I'm gonna do a flip cup. I've been doing a lot of flip cups with these paints because they really look beautiful. And when you're using just Floetrol, it's very easy for your paints to mix together and create mud. Now my second flip cup has more of the blue colors in it because I wanted to get a little bit of separation there. I put like the warm purples and reds in the first flip cup and this one more of the blue uh, colors. You can see, now I'm just adding some paint to the rest of the canvas. Uh, knowing that I don't necessarily have enough paint for that, but I've been doing this to be very frugal lately. And now you, we're going to cover our pour. And to cover your pour, you take your white paint, very gently go over the top. Now, if you have the paint mixed correctly, the consistency, it will actually sit on top of your pour and not fall through. So if it's too thin, it will fall through. Um, if any of your paints are too thin, it will fall through. They have to kind of be all the same consistency. Now see, any place that, that's peeking through, um, actually just makes a really pretty pattern. And I add a little bit more of that folk art Topaz right there. I love that paint, but I think it's incredibly uh, overpriced. Um, have any of you tried that paint yet? It's called Golden Treasures by Folk Art, and it's like the uh, deep topaz, and they have like fire opal and a few other colors, and I love the way they look, but my goodness, they're more expensive than golden fluids, and um, they don't, they definitely don't last as long as golden fluids, so it's hard to justify, but man, they sure are pretty. Um, 
You guys, please uh, feel free if you're feeling so inclined to support my channel. Uh, I notice YouTube is just killing the small channels right now. I'm, I'm just down, down, down under. Uh, I'm not even making $150 now a month <laughs> doing these videos and wow it's it's crazy so I really really rely on your donations and your support to keep my channel going um, or you can buy art <laughs> and uh, this painting is sold already but I do have other paintings for sale at heathermaderart.com and some of my more recent paintings if I if they're not listed and you're curious you can always contact me by email and I can let you know or just a small donation uh, my PayPal link is in the description box and trust me when I tell you even small donations five dollars ten dollars twenty dollars it helps so much so thank you for your support you guys for watching uh, please share Sharing is another great way that you can support this channel. So this is another one of Heartfelt Artistry's techniques is cupping. She uses the lip, the lip of the cup to just like basically gently lift some of that white off the surface. And then I bring out my balloon well, you know, it's my glove that's rolled up and blown up. And this one's almost out of air, so it's leaving an interesting little look here. I do really like the way this pouring medium does with um, balloon rolls and balloon kisses and stuff like that. And I suspect it's a lot like glue. Although what I like about the Mod Podge is it's not as stringy as glue. It is, however, as sticky as glue, um, but not stringy. And I really, I'm very shocked, but I really like the way it dries especially with the GAC 800 in there. Just very smooth and almost buttery soft, very silky. So at this point, unfortunately, my camera ran out of battery, but I still thought this painting was so pretty that I wanted to share it with you. Here it is under the lights. So many little details in this one. I love the feel of these paintings, the last two paintings. They're so tropical feeling. Almost like island flowers. Just very bright and cheery. I'm not really a pastel person, but I'm just loving the colors in here. And I don't know, maybe it's my way of um, doing something to make myself feel good during this time. I was loving the golds mixing with the pinks turning to peaches and so many pretty effects on this one. Even the composition even of this one, I just love it. Now dried, I just happened to catch it. I hung it in my kitchen. And I just happened to catch it as the light was catching it. And I thought, isn't that pretty? The next thing is coming this week is a live video. And I want you guys to join me for a live painting video this Friday at 5 p.m. West Coast, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I will see you there and be well. Don't forget to subscribe and hit all notifications so I can make more art videos just for you.